Hi everyone, this is Laurel with Sweet Bay Laurel Emporium. I'm just here to do a little um, video um, uh, showing my jean jacket that I did. Um, the pink jean jacket was just plain ordinary pink and it's bright pink and just a jean jacket um, store bought. So I just wanted to show you what I did with it. Um, I am doing this um, this video holding my phone with my hand, so please forgive um, if it's not all that great. Anyways, this is the front of the jacket, obviously, and I'll just show you some things that I did. So I embroidered, or pardon me, crocheted these flowers and sewed them on the collar of the jacket. They go all the way around. They are crocheted with uh, crochet cotton thread number 10. Uh, my little no drama llama also uh, crocheted with um, crochet cotton thread number 10 and that is just sewn on by hand. I had some lace that I sewed on to the pocket flaps. This is a uh, applique that I had um i didn't embroider that and i just uh, found it and put it sewed it onto the pocket and this is the other pocket with a bit of lace that i hand sewed on i um, also have an embroidery machine and so some of this is my embroidery machine it's a little bee a friendly day indeed cute and if you go down this side, underneath the pocket, um, again, machine embroidery, the vine, which it was a Donna Dewberry pattern. And I had crocheted some flowers and hand sewed them on, on the vine. They are crochet cotton thread number 10. Um, go this is the right sleeve at the at the top I just did some freehand uh, lazy daisies embroidery on the cuff um, because I have short arms my cuffs are always rolled up so I put some lace on them and on the back um, I love sweet peas and this is a Donna Dewberry sweet pea machine embroidery pattern. Along the bottom, I um, hand embroidered, um, I don't know what that stitch is called. I forget, it's been a while. I also, some more of my crocheted flowers I just sewed them on around that button that's on the side. There's one on this side as well. And that's the back. And then on this side here, you can see where that, that um, flower is with that button. We're on this side and you can see again, lace on the cuff and some more little lazy daisies and a um, little piglet. Again, this is from my um, machine embroider. That's my little piglet. And um, I did some cross stitches up the seam on this side and another color down this side. I don't think I did it on the other side. I might have. Yes, I did. And so that's my jacket. I love wearing it. And um, I love that uh, all the work I did on it. Um, I also had um, some uh, slow stitching. I had started 
that. Um, this is where I'm at. Not all of it is finished. These, there's lots here still pinned. This is pinned. Um, I can't open it up flat because I seem to have pinned something through here. Oh, this. And this is the back. Sorry. This is the back. This is what was obviously just pinned on. And a flower and some lace pinned on. I have to sew it on yet. And um, I just did this. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. I just did this on a piece of flannel. Like a baby receiving blanket flannel. And so this is the back. It's going to be a journal cover. I just embroidered some stuff on a piece of fabric that was there. Yo-yo. Attached. This was from a piece of lace. This isn't attached. Neither is this one. A little crocheted button that, or butterfly. He's not obviously attached. Some of those daisies that I went over with. This isn't attached either. A little crocheted flower. A little piece of lace. And buttons. This isn't attached either and I have to finish that. And so that's where I'm at with my piece of slow stitch. Oh, and I did some um, X's on here. Um, apparently I didn't finish them. I can't tell if they're finished or not. <laughs> yes, they are. They didn't look like they were, but anyways, yes, they are. So I just made cross stitches in the little white spot on the check. Anyways, that's it. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.